back to another episode of Grease Monkey Mods. Uh, in my last video, I installed these LS truck injectors. Had to grind on the manifold a bit and do some some things here and there to make them fit. But they are equivalent to about a 650 to 700 cc injector. I thought they were thousands, but turns out they're the uh, smaller ones. But it should it should still be plenty for what I'm uh, what I'm gonna do. But um, so today I'm gonna be installing this GM3 bar. It should be pretty straightforward. There's only three wires. You've got your uh, ground, blue is your uh, signal, red is your 5 volt reference. So I'm going to have to get my multimeter and find those wires coming off my stock Honda plug. Um, I also have another video showing the differences between an authentic uh, GM3 bar and a replica or fake GM3 bar. So if you want to see that video or the installation of these injectors, I'll put the links to those in the description. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I turned the ignition uh, forward, not you know not running of course, but I turned the key forward to give the system power. So I'm going to unplug the map sensor and find the five volt the five volt reference first. So I'm going to plug the map, I'm going to ground out. Whoops, ground this guy out. Kind of poke around until I find five volts, which it should be the yellow with the right red stripe, but. Yeah, so it's a yellow wire, red stripe. Got that taken care of, so now I'm going to find the ground. So the green, white stripe in the center of the plug is actually the ground. So when I, with power going to the battery and the ground on that green wire, white stripe, it gives me actually uh, 12 volts. So that is the ground, the middle wire. So that leaves the red and the, what is that? Red and green stripe is going to be the the signal wire. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this plug off and uh, plug in my three bar plug or pigtail. So like I said before, it's best to go in and solder your connections and use heat shrink and stuff like that. But uh, me being me, I'm just, you know, I'm using buck connectors and everything. So uh, don't be me, have better connections. Me, I just don't care. I'm just doing whatever I gotta do to just get this thing working right now. And this is what I have with me right now. I don't have a, I don't have my soldering iron. I don't have any solder. I don't have heat shrink. And I don't feel like buying all that stuff. So that's that. I've got my new pigtail butt connected to the stock wires. So my three bar. And an interesting note is that this pigtail came with the knockoff three bar sensor. It did not want to plug into the authentic GM three bar. I'd actually cut slots into the plug here so they would line into the to the connector, slide in the way it's supposed to. Interesting note. Now it actually plugs in, it clicks in the way it's supposed to. So now that leaves us with this, it's just like a vacuum port. Uh, I think for that, I actually, uh, there's this vacuum hose that comes off the back of the, of the manifold. There's this line here that comes off the back of the manifold. It goes into this little check valve, and then there's like a little canister here, and the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, there's a canister on the far back side. And it's actually been deleted. There's like, it's plugged up before, since I got the car. So I'm just gonna unplug that. And this little hose here, I'm gonna plug into the three bar map sensor. And it seems to be just the right size to go on and be a nice tight fit. If I, maybe too tight, hold on. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fit. From forcing on, they actually kind of swelled a little bit. That's how tight it is. So I need to go ahead and get some zip ties. I'm gonna zip tie that connection, with the hose going on there. I'll probably zip tie the, the sensor somewhere in the back of the firewall, somewhere behind the manifold. But for now, I'll just uh, leave it chilling right there. So, all right, I guess it's ready to actually hook up, uh, get into Chrome and do the, the GM3 bar conversion. All right, so if we go ahead, 
and uh, plug in the remote to the laptop. Open up Chrome. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually convert it over to the GM3 bar. So you go to plugins, advanced boost tools. Right now I'm actually running the, the stock Honda 1.7 bar map. Um, so just go through these uh, next, next. So right here it actually gives you the options. Um, so right away it gives you the 1.7 bar, the stock Honda map sensor. So from there I'm gonna scroll down to the GM3 bar, select that one. And next. 14 boost columns so that way you get the most columns in the boost and you can tune more tables more accurately next next so there now it should yeah it goes all the way to a 30.2 psi versus i think it went up to like 11 before so i get this whole extra range right here to to tune with so easy as that guys um yeah i mean all it is is ground five volt reference signal uh Go into plugins for a Chrome at least and do the conversion to the GM3 bar. So, yeah, I guess. Well, you know what? Let me go ahead and fire it up. I don't still pretty low. Let's wait for it to see. Uh, to do a little sweep before it starts to read. Yeah, it's a little lean, but it's, it's pretty close. I'm gonna throw some fuel in there. I'm gonna do that right now, I'll just select. This is pretty much where it idles at there. You know what, I think I'll just, I'm gonna add 1% and see what that does. 1%, see if that even does anything at all. All right, so she wanted 1% in there at idle to, to be closer to 14.7. But yeah, it's easy as that. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.